uh, John Buckingham is up next, uh, along with Alan Regan from Pepperdine. They're going to talk about their new, uh, their interactive help. They called it Push, Prompt, and Walk Step-by-Step, Step, Pepperdine's interactive help in Sakai. So if you folks are ready to take it, off you go. All righty. Let me uh, just go ahead and pull that up here. And can you all see my screen? We can. You're good. All right. Just and a we'll quick uh, sound started. check. Everything good? Yep. yep. All good. All right. Well, thank you very much. Um, we're both uh, very excited to be here. And so what we wanted to talk about is a little bit of our interactive help that we've developed. Uh, my name is Alan Regan. I'm the director of IT client services focused on our education side of things. So we do both staff development and fact faculty development. And I'm joined here by John, uh, who is our senior lead instructional technologist in our technology and learning team. Hello, John. Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us. And so let's go ahead and dive in. So like anything, you know, we, we usually face some problems and then try to match those to what we want to accomplish. So our first problem we ran into is, you know, we always, as everybody else does, we have brand new faculty and staff who are completely uh, new to Sakai. So our goal here was basically, can we do something that would help us uh, increase our uh, Sakai uh, literacy? Basically help people learn about Sakai very quickly. Uh, next, um, you know, like everybody else, we have very limited staff and you know, just a handful of people have to serve hundreds to thousands of others. So um, how can we then match that with our goal to basically expand our training efforts uh, with, with few people? Could we automate things for, perhaps um, or do things that might be uh, uh, more amenable to people who are uh, at different time zones, et cetera? And our last item um, is basically, uh, even for folks that have been here for a number of years and have, have used our platform, there, there tends to be either a lack of awareness or you know new releases come out. So how do we notify people? Um, so we wanna get, get the word out about new features, some caveats, especially those gotchas. You know, hey, you might be reading this term as uh, doing something that the actual tool or service or, or option doesn't do. So we wanted to give people some, some warning about that. And so uh, what we did is we kind of looked for an option and we selected a platform. Uh, that platform is called WalkMe uh, and we've integrated it into our instance of Sakai. So for y'all, um, we've branded our instance of WalkMe as quote unquote Pepperdine help. And um, we've branded our instance of Sakai as courses. So if you see any screenshots um, moving on, um, courses is simply our uh, flavor of Sakai at Pepperdine. And I'm going to hand it off to John to talk about several of the features now uh, that are available to us. Thank you, Alan. Um, so WalkMe has a number of different uh, assets or uh, features, um, and you see a couple of those here. And so we'll spend just a few moments talking about each and how we've implemented them. Uh, the first example are walkthroughs, and these are really step-by-step uh, prompts that guide the user through specific workflows or processes uh, that can uh, often or rather always be kicked off or initiated by the user selves. Um, and so just to kind of show you an example of one of those, um, I'm going to play a little video here. Uh, and so hopefully it will uh, come up here in any moment now. You'll see a user here in this video just uh, clicking off or rather uh, kicking off a, a, a a guided tour for what's new in Sakai 21. We, we built this uh, when we upgraded to 21 this year. And you'll see how um, in this workflow, uh, it is guiding the user uh, through each of the steps um, and taking them to uh, kind of show them a couple of the, um, the new features. And so here again, in this case, you're just seeing a user being guided through uh, the, the new date manager feature and just kind of introducing what that feature looks like. I'm going to, uh, and it, and it, this, this feature actually, or the, rather this walkthrough just kind of continues on. Uh, and so let's, uh, we're going to move on here to the ne next example. 
Um, we have another example here where, uh, once it loads here any moment now, um, there, there is a workflow uh, in lessons uh, that uh, sometimes uh, stumps a few of our users where they want to copy a lessons page, not point to an existing lessons page. And so you'll see here, um, there's a workflow that's been kicked off by the user um, and it is taking them through exactly what steps they need to uh, go to in order to successfully copy, not point to an existing lessons page. Um, and so that's just been kind of a, um, a pain point we've, we've seen a lot of, and so that's why we ended up building that. Um, let me move on here to the next example here. Um, the other, uh, another feature within WalkMe are the tool tips. Uh, and these are uh, just small little icons uh, that are placed uh, throughout our, our, uh, our Sakai instance um, and really just provide some extra guidance and or pedagogical tips. Um, and so you'll see here an example um, of a tip that was placed on the settings area. And you'll see this just provides um, some, some extra little guidance on uh, mindful uh, uh, items to be uh, watchful of um, when selecting feedback. Um, here's another example of a uh, kind of a caution, um, a, a cautionary tool tip to be mindful of, you know, uh, in this case, you know, be wary of selecting feedback during the exam. We move on here to shout outs. Shout outs are really in your face prompts. Um, these are alerts and or um, uh, pop up windows that will um, try to capture the attention of the user so that they are mindful of a, of a change or, or something they need to be watchful of. Um, and so uh, here's an example of an alert that we created for the new two-step process in assignments. Uh, historically, as many of you are aware, and, and uh, the assignments tool used to be a one-step submission process for students. Um, now, as of Sakai 21, I believe, um, maybe it was Sakai 20, uh, it, is a, it is now a two-step process. And so once we implemented this at our institution, we wanted to make sure that um, students were aware that now they were encountering a two-step process. And so uh, when they clicked proceed, they would, they would get this alert. Um, here is another uh, pop-up or shout-out that we employed uh, uh, right after our upgrade. Um, and so this is something that uh, was displayed to all users um, and just reminded individuals, hey, we just had an upgrade. Um, please clear your browser cache for best user experience. Um, and that's always kind of been one of our um, uh, challenges in communicating that uh, across the, our, our community once we've, once we've had an, uh, gone through an upgrade. And then finally, we just wanted to spend just a moment here on uh, a few of the resources and or rather uh, the resources feature, I should say, in WalkMe. Um, and these are just uh, links to outside uh, documents and um, resources that the user can access from our uh, WalkMe tool. Um, you'll see right here um, in this animated GIF, uh, we placed a, a tool tip, uh, which opens up a PDF document um, uh, that we are trying to encourage our, our, our community to be mindful of when using the Turnitin uh, tool. We do have uh, important uh, guidelines at our institution. So. Uh, really, really uh, easy to just uh, initiate a, a PDF and, and view that documentation there. And then we also have, um, as you can see here, a way for a user to uh, click on the help menu. Uh, let me wait for that to go over. Yeah, you'll see Pepperdine help at the very bottom. That's our walk me kind of menu. And then a user can select and uh, open up our uh, and access our community documentation um, on, on uh, our, our learning management system, Sakai. Um, so those are really just a few examples that we wanted to showcase with uh, with you all, and um, we'll we'll go ahead and stop here and ask if there are any any questions. I think the biggest question is: so how do you deploy that? Is that something that other people could deploy as well? Uh, yes, um, it is a it is a tool that um, you know once you've uh, it, it is a it is a its own company it, called WalkMe, and so. Um, it's a, it's a third party that you can deploy on a number of different um, sites. Um, in this case, we were able to deploy it on our Sakai instance and 
we we deployed it both on our uh, development instance and, as well as on our production instance so that we can really kind of um, iron out any wrinkles um, on any of these these uh, features before we deploy it to our, our production side. I hope that yeah, answers so, your question. And uh, on the back end, um, you know, we're, we're hosted by Longsite. So essentially, uh, there was some JavaScript code that needed to go into um, our deployment. Uh, and then that that activates the the tool in connection with the um, the system. Um, we have some kind of cool um, hooks into it based on. Uh, well, hey, you guys work. are out of yeah. time. I, I hear the dreaded buzzer. <laughs> That's right. Well, we can uh, we can take anything else offline. Yeah. Um, right. But um, anyway, thank you for your time. Appreciate it, John and Alan. Thanks very much. This is this was that was great. That's really good. Okay.